So this next week's mantra is less snacking, more tracking. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. It is Friday, so that means that it is way in day. So this last week, I was a snacker. I snacked quite a bit this last week, more than I have since I transitioned over to clean eating. And I don't know if it's out of boredom or what the reasoning was behind it, but I definitely snacked a lot more this last week than I normally do, which led me to have a few higher point days. So that's why this next week mantra is going to be less snacking and more tracking. I've already pre-tracked all of my food for today, made sure I'm where I need to be calorie-wise, macro-wise, point-wise, and I'm starting fresh. So I did, however, have a couple of non-scale victories. I did get quite a bit of working out in. I actually did jazzercise three days this last week and spent a lot of time working in my yard getting in extra steps and all the things in addition to jazzercise. So those were huge wins for me, but the snacking was where I really struggled this last week. So I have a game plan for this next week and I'm going to share that with you. When I get out of my virtual workshop, I'll be back to share what we talked about for this week's topic and my way in. Hi guys, I'm out of my virtual workshop. I've officially logged my weight into the WW app and I'm here to share with you what we talked about and my way in. So first things first, this topic at this virtual workshop is hands down my favorite since starting the whole online only virtual workshop quarantine. This is, in my opinion, the best topic and that is hitting the refresh. As things have started to kind of slow down, we've kind of established a new normal, so to speak, and we can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's time maybe to hit the refresh and start putting our weight loss journey as more of a priority for us. I know that so many people, and sometimes myself included, have not made our weight loss journey our number one priority because there's so many other things going on in our world and in our life right now, and life has happened for so many of us that our weight loss journey just hasn't been top, front, and center in our mind. But maybe with spring being here and that light at the end of the tunnel, we can talk about maybe refreshing and making it a little bit more of a priority. So I'm gonna share with you some of the tips that WW gave us for starting that refresh. So first I would say pick a day to start that refresh. Find a day that you want to actually, st my windshield wipers are on, oh my gosh. Okay, there. Um, pick a day that you actually want to start your refresh and take some baby steps towards that. So number one, and most importantly, is setting up your space for success. So what this means could be something simple as putting your yoga mat out in plain sight, maybe next to your TV, putting your workout clothes out on your dresser the night before. So when you wake up, you're seeing those things. You're seeing your workout clothes, you're seeing your yoga mat, and it spurs you to get in a little bit of activity. Even you could cut up fruits and veggies and have those ready to go in your refrigerator. So I know for me, if I have fruits and veggies cut up, I'm far more likely to eat them. If I have to go pull the cucumber out, wash the cucumber, peel the cucumber, slice the cucumber, I'm a little less to eat the, likely to eat them. So I think having those things on hand, healthy snacks in your pantry is a really good start for a refresh. Next is track smarter. So maybe set a reminder on your phone to track your food or maybe pre-track your day. So what I've been doing is pre-tracking most of my day. Since I meal prep, I know what I'm having for breakfast, lunch, and snacks or snack. So I can pre-track that. And then I kind of think about dinner because that seems to be my heaviest pointed meal. And I'll pre-track that as well. And then whatever's left is left. And that's for snacking, dessert, whatever the case may be. So in order to get back into tracking, if that's an area that you just haven't been concentrating on, pre-track. Even if it's just for the day or a meal, pre-track your food. Focus on your intention. So really dig deep. Sit down and think, what does a new beginning mean to me? What does a refresh mean for me? And really think about that and map out a game plan so that you can focus on what you're intending to do with your new found weight loss journey, your newfound focus, and your refresh. Go back 
to the basics. What helped you be successful when you were successful on your weight loss program? What did you do in the very beginning, the day you joined WW, that helped you lose weight? And go back to that. It's proven success. History is going to repeat itself. If you do all of the things, all of the habits, the steps of what you did when you were seeing success on WW, you're bound to see success again. So this refresh can basically be like a new beginning for you. And you should see substantial weight loss if you do what you did in the beginning when you saw substantial weight loss. How about spring cleaning your mind and really taking out a lot of the negative thoughts that we're having? And right now, it's hard not to have negative thoughts. It's hard not to focus on the unknown, what's going to happen, and really think about what is in the moment. What can you control? What is currently happening? And basically wipe your mind clean. A fresh slate in the mind is a fresh slate and a refresh for weight loss. And lastly is get creative with your activity. Use the active portion of your WW app. Find some workout videos on YouTube or Jazzercise On Demand or whatever it is that you want to do. Get creative so that you don't get bored, number one, and two, that you can introduce that activity into a smaller space like your home and find what's going to work for you. I can tell you from personal experience that the days that I work out are the days that my mind has a little bit more mental clarity. It's the days that I'm way more on track and I'm eating a lot better. And it's also the day that days that I overall feel better because my endorphins have gotten going, my body's been moving, and I just overall feel better on the days that I get in some type of activity. And it doesn't have to be an hour. It can be a 15-minute walk. You feel so much better. So take advantage of being at home to get in a little bit of extra activity. So focus on this refresh. Focus on taking small steps to get back on track or to make your weight loss journey a little bit more of a priority for you. This is a really good time to do that. We've established our new normal. Things are looking a little bit better in our world. So let's take time to refresh every facet of our lives. So I mentioned in the beginning of the video that snacking got the best of me this week. I was a snacker, like a grazer throughout the day. And I know better. I very rarely have more than one snack a day when I'm eating a good, solid, clean eating menu because I'm full and I'm satisfied from the food that I'm eating for my meals. But this last week, holy moly, I just wanted every snack there was. And I also cut myself off at 6 p.m. from food. I didn't do that this week. There were days that I was snacking right before bed, which number one, makes me not sleep as well. And number two, I know that it's not good for my weight loss because I generally don't have the points for it, yet I'm still snacking. So my goal this week, my refresh, my restart is no snacking other than what I have tracked and planned for. So no extra snacking, more tracking. So when I stepped on the scale today, I stayed exactly the same. So I didn't lose anything. I didn't gain anything. I'll take it, but certainly not how I wanted to end the month of April. Darn it. I wanted to have a good loss so that it bumped up my total amount lost for April. So with that being said, in the month of April, I overall lost one pound, which is not good, you guys. But I thought about it after I saw the one pound and my heart kind of sunk. I thought, wait a minute, I still had a loss during quarantine in the month of April. So what are you complaining about? So I'm grateful for my one pound loss, but it just kind of gives me that refresh for May. My goal for May is five pounds. So you guys need to hold me to that so that we can see a five pound loss at the end of May. So today I maintain my weight. I do have a game plan going into next week with the less snacking, more tracking. I have already pre-tracked my day today which is great. I'm going to do a workout live on Zoom with one of my friends today, which I'm so excited about. And I have a game plan for working out, snacking, meals for this next week. I'm really excited about my meal prep that will be out on Monday. So I'm hitting the refresh for myself. I'm starting clean. I'm spring cleaning my mind, my pantry, my tracker, and I'm going to have a successful week. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this whole refresh? And what is the one baby step that you're going to take to start a refresh? Also, leave down below in the comments how your weigh-in went. Was it what you expected? Did you gain? Did you lose? How are you feeling overall during this time? I've been thinking a lot about you guys and I just kind of want to touch base and see how you guys are doing mentally, physically, weight loss, everything. So leave that down in the comments for me. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to join my YouTube friends and family. All you have to do is hit that little subscribe button and that bell and you'll be part of my YouTube community and we would absolutely love to have you. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're here for the weigh-in videos and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Hang in there, stay safe and healthy. I love you guys.